Hi everyone, I've got some good news. Today I have another letter with a story from my friend Ferguson. Ferguson is an Australian wombat. He's little, but he's got a big personality. Last time we were talking to Ferguson, he was upside down, doing some very fast thinking, but not a lot of considering. <laughs> Shall we find out where that fast thinking takes him? All right, let's go. That's it, yelled Ferguson. I've done it. Imagine if I can stay upside down longer than anyone else in the world. That'd be something to be famous for. Ferguson was so excited that he brought his feet back to the ground and stood up. <gasps> All of a sudden, oof, Ferguson felt quite sick and rather dizzy too. Ugh, said Ferguson strangely. Oh, fuddle and gum, bro. Something's happened to me. I think my brains have moved to my feet. Ooh, that's not a nice feeling. Poor Ferguson. Ferguson slumped to the ground, holding his head. <gasps> Fergie, Fergie, panted Rue. You are right. You look real strange. Do you think my brains will stay on my feet forever, Rue? Asked Ferguson slowly. Do you think you could have, like, they could have grown down in there already? My poor friend Ferguson. I don't think he quite knows how brains work. Do you? I've never had brains in my feet. I don't know, said Roo. I wish Hooter Owl were here. He'd know what to do. You stay there and rest. I'll go look for him. All right, said Ferguson, who still looked very ill. But I'll be back, yeah? Everything was quiet in the forest where Hooter lived. It was as though everything was dead. A bushfire had swept through the trees a few weeks earlier, and all the tree trunks were black. Roo hopped carefully through the bush looking for a clear track. It wouldn't take much to make some of the trees fall. Mm, better be careful, Roo. Soon as he saw the old gum tree where Hooter lived, and as he got closer, he began to call, Hooter, Hooter, it's about Ferguson. He's in terrible trouble. Two yellow eyes appeared out of the dark hollow of the tree. Oh, Hooter sounds scary, Roo, be careful. They flashed on and off like a yellow traffic light. And Hooter tried to wake up. Who's got a problem? Said Hooter in his deep voice. It's Ferguson, called Roo from below. He's turned upside down and now his brains have grown into his feet. Oh, laughed Hooter. Brains in his feet. Ridiculous. We said it was silly, didn't we? <laughs> All right, lead the way, Roo. Roo was worried about Ferguson, and he leapt through the bush with great speed. Hmm, <gasps> remember how we were talking about fast thinking in the last letter? Is there something Roo forgot about when he was moving quickly? It is a big situation, isn't it? Here, Ferguson isn't feeling very well, and it makes sense that Roo wants to get someone wiser to come and have a look faster. But Roo's also risking putting himself into danger. If we were about to help a friend who wasn't feeling very well and we were worried we wanted to get them there quickly and we've just got to be as fast as possible, what kind of things can we do to avoid being like Rue and forgetting there's a very dangerous world around us? Hmm. Rue right now knows that he's got to move carefully because there's burned trees nearby. Sometimes, even if our friend is sick, if we have to cross the road or if we have to go and cross through something on the way to school to get a teacher, we have to make sure that we're still looking out for these things. And it can be difficult when our brains aren't always wired to remember those things. Especially with ADHD, our brains tend to go towards the most important thing that's right in front of us and right there. But what I like to do is to have an essential list. This means the things that just always have to be done. Kind of like the most important, but it's a forever list, not a sometimes list. For example, whenever I go out in my kingdom, part of my list is I have to make sure I know where my mum and dad are all the time. It doesn't matter if I'm having fun or if my friend trips and I have to go and find a guard to help. I always have to have know where mum and dad are at the top of my list. I wouldn't want to go missing again. Similarly, if I'm going to cross the road, even though I'm a princess, Carts and wagons just, they don't always have time to look out for a princess crossing the road. So I make sure that I look both ways. 
this is really important. And once I started practicing remembering this list, it was a bit easier. Shall we see what happens to Rue? Okay. Rue was worried about Ferguson, and he leapt through the bush with great speed. For a moment, he forgot how dangerous some of the trees were, and all of a sudden, <gasps> crack! An enormous branch came crashing down. Oh, Rue, it landed right across his tail. Ow! screamed Rue. My tail, my tail! Can't move my tail! Rue lay on the ground and he was not very well. Oh, no, poor Rue. I think my tail is dead, he screamed. Quick, Hoota, quick! I can't feel my tail. Hoota flew down from above. Whew! Take it easy, Rue, he said, sitting on top of the log that lay across Rue's tail. Can't move that. Too heavy, Rue. Woo hoo! I'll have to go and get Ferguson. He's the only one strong enough to move this tree. Hmm. Looks like we've got another situation. This time, two people aren't doing too well. Cody's got a lot of responsibility, doesn't he? He has to go and get Ferguson, make sure that his brains aren't in his feet. Come back to help Rue. Hmm, if you're in this situation, we've got lots of thoughts going on, don't we? How would you make sure that you are also keeping yourself safe so we don't end up with three people sick? Let me know down below if you've got an idea. I personally like my things that have to be done or essentials list. I know that I have to keep an eye out for any wagons or carts and I have to make sure I know where my mum and dad are. They're the most important things for me. What's the most important for you? I can't wait to see you again. And hopefully I'll have another letter. Bye-bye.